Hey guys, this is a uh, website that I built using Divi uh, and Divi Pixel. Um, so in the notes, there's some some links there. If you if you like what you see here, um, you can uh, you know use these tools to build a site like this. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to replace this section with a different uh, lead generator. So let's just enable the Visual Builder, and I'll show you what. I mean, and I'm going to uh, just keep recording. So if you want to watch this on a faster speed, do it because I'm going to go through the whole kind of messy process of, of adding um, a lead generator, a pop up with bloom uh, on this site. So see the section here is hidden right now. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is wind up putting um, a button over here that's going to create a pop-up uh, that people can put their stuff in um, and then that will ultimately allow them to you know get the email. This is going to be integrated with MailChimp. Okay, so let's go to the back end um, and create in Bloom a new opt-in form. So we're going to we're going to make this a, uh, a pop-up and we're going to call it, uh, the name of this, this is a grow your business, uh, grow checklist is what we'll call it. This is where you, I've already done the work to hook up the MailChimp account to this um, website. There's the checklist. If you, um, if you add a checklist, make sure you go to uh, here to email accounts and there's a little arrow or you can click that it'll refresh your lists and then that list will show up so if you if you're running into a situation where you don't see your list uh, that's what's going on okay so <clears throat> I want to do this uh, and then I'll scroll down here and say next and we're gonna say what is it gonna say here um, download uh, download the how to grow a business checklist. Sometimes with Bloom, this, this can get a little bit wonky. So you'll have to, um, as you go, you can click this preview and it'll show you a bit of what it's gonna look like. Uh, and then here I'm gonna put in the subtext, business made simples checklist for how to grow a business. Okay. Okay, so that's good. So like I said, you can always check uh, this and it'll show you uh, what, what you're looking like so far. Okay, and then what we'll do is um, we're gonna change this image. So we have, uh, let's try, let's try this one first and see. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. That looks okay. So it's somebody using it. Um, that's fine. All right. Um, background color is okay. We're going to change the button to say download. We're going to use a custom field because I want um, address, phone number, type. No, I don't want that. The button color we're going to make. Um, let me go see what the button color is. I wish that Bloom would bring in the... You know how on Divi you can have the... Um, 
recent colors. Um, I wish that it would do that. All right, there's that. Text color, dark. Let's look at it real quick. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, here it is, name field. Single name field. That's what I want. Name, email, download. All right, cool. So that will work. Um, and then in the success message, um, I'm gonna put, um, check your inbox for the how to grow. Sorry about my dog uh, business checklist. If you don't see it, check spam. Okay, so that's good. So I'm going to uh, go to the display settings. Uh, okay, so I did this on a another um, site recently. So let's look at this one at the display settings. So we have, this is what I want. We're going to trigger on click and we're going to add that. So let's do that. Yep. Okay. There we go. That's good. And then here we need display on everything. And that should be good. All right. Yep, that's what we want. <clears throat> okay. Uh, save and exit. Okay, so now we have it, the grow checklist. So now let's go put it on the page. And so we're going to do that with a button. So here, see this uh, cool masking. This is done with Divi Pixel, so you can see uh, this pixel image mask settings. That's really cool. You should check out Divi Pixel. Uh, it's pretty powerful. If you like Divi, it does a lot of stuff. Okay, so down here we're going to add um, some text. We're going to make it the heading of um, download the how to grow a business checklist. I'm going to make that a H2. And then I'm going to give it the text, the uh, business made simples checklist for how to grow a business. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to put a button. And here we're going to say download now. <clears throat> now this is, I need to check this other one really quick on how I did that. So let's go look. Yep, that's there. Let's see if there's any. Yep, okay. So we need to add a CSS ID for pop-up and we need to make the link that. Okay, so let's go here. That, make sure there's no space, and then go here. Oh, oh, I think that's right. Let's check. Yep, okay. Okay. Now, let's style this button kind of like that.
text color, we're gonna make white. Background. Make that color. Let's add some padding. Add some right, we'll save that. All right, so then I'm going to make this visible and we'll look, look and see what it looks like. So now let's do this. Hmm. Okay, that's nice. For some reason I must have the, um, have it turned on somewhere else. Okay, so this works. Um, now we need to make sure that um, we set the email up in MailChimp. So that looks good. I wanna to go to the pop-up and make sure that um, it doesn't just pop up on scroll like that. So first thing I'm gonna do is hide this one. For now, and it may just get rid of it all together, but we're gonna hide that one. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go look at um, save and exit. Let's go look at this. Yep, okay, display settings. Trigger after time delay. Yeah, we don't want that. <clears throat> we don't want that. We just want it on the pop-up. Okay, cool. All right, that fixed that. Okay, so now what we need to do is um, I am going to upload the PDF uh, Here it is All right, while that's doing that, we're going to go over here and we're going to create a uh, an automation, just a simple automation. Okay, so single welcome email, that's it. We're gonna do a single PDF download email. And we're gonna select this audience, begin. <clears throat> All right, single, yep, sends to, uh, yep, that's right. We're gonna change this. Now we need to edit this. All 
All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't like that. And then here. Now we're going to do uh, here to get this link, copy that here, insert, and then we're going to say best. This, we don't need this. Delete, delete. Okay, all that's good. Save. Okay, sends to them immediately after they join this list, which they will, as soon as they fill out that form, it'll, it'll ping to here. They'll get this email. Okay, we're good. Start sending, start now. All right, so we're good there. Um, can refresh. And we can test it. Actually, let's do this. This is a pretty cool thing. You guys know about a 15 minute email for testing these kind of things. So copy that over here. Test, we'll put that in, download. Okay, so if we check here, Might take it a minute for these guys to do their thing. Let's go look at the audience and see. Yeah. You can see it came through. There's the test. Okay, cool. So let's see. Yep, there it is. All right, cool. So everything works. And that's how you do it. That's how you uh, use a, a pop-up from Bloom to, you know, get your... Um, Get your lead generator hooked up and integrated with your Divi site. Okay, so there you go. My name is Mitch Alverson, and I am a, a business made simple coach, uh, as well as I build websites and host. So if I can help, let me know. Thanks. See you soon.